Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the evaluate function. Now the evaluate function was around in Excel version 4, so and it's probably not even documented anymore. So for example, if I type evaluate, it doesn't even show up. But it's a function that's available and it's something where you can use in this particular example. So let's say for example you had some text equation. So here in A2 to A4 we have some equations that look like they're mathematical equations that should be calculated in Excel but they're not because the way that Excel sees them is as text. Normally Excel sees numbers as values so let me go ahead and type a number in here and you'll notice that once I type in the number it's going to line it to the right. But in this case Excel is evaluating these numbers as text. So if I type in uh, another e equation, 64 maybe plus, minus, maybe minus 2, you notice that now it's aligned to the left and Excel is seeing these numbers as text. Now, so if you wanted to see the text equation and also have the result on the next column, uh, there is a way to do that. Maybe you're trying to demo something or, or show some result or highlight some stuff. There is a way to do this. Uh, by calculating it, maybe you have a long row of text equations, you don't want to go ahead and retype them in again. What you can do is use the evaluate function. So this is how it's going to work. Now, now as I showed you earlier, you can't really type equal evaluate. So what you need to do is you need to define it as a named range. So I'm going to go here under formulas, go under define name. So the name I'm going to give it is, I'm just going to call it calculate. Calculate. And then under the refers to, this is going to be where I put the evaluate function. Now we have to put this in all caps. If you have it in lower caps, it will not work, or, or lowercase. So evaluate, all in caps, and then parentheses, and then cell A2. This is going to be cell A2, and then close parentheses, click OK. So once I have that done, the name manager, I've created a name for that particular function. All I need to do is type equal calculate and since I just typed the first couple letters it excels smart enough to know that oh I have a named range here so I'm just going to just double click that press enter and now you see it's calculated that function so I can actually just go ahead and click the double click the fill handle now bring it down and it will calculate the other functions so you know let's say I, if I put another type of text equation out here maybe uh, three four five uh, times four five three four four three five divided whoops divided by two all right that's going to give me some weird probably weird uh, result if I go ahead and double click this or just click the fill handle here and bring it down and it calculated something else uh, 75 a little over 75,000 so that's how you can use the evaluate function if you've got a situation where you've got some text some equation that looks like text and you want to keep that but you want to go ahead and see a result for it so you can use the evaluate function for that so I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.